Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the root of x log x base 10 minus 1.2 equal to 0 by Newton Raphson's method correcting to three decimal places. So first step, we have to write f of x. f of x equal to this entire function x log x base 10 minus 1.2. We have to calculate the value of f of x for two different value of x so that it changes the sign from positive to negative or negative to positive. Let's take 1. Log 1 is 0. 0 minus 1.2 is negative. Let's take 2. So if I take 2 and there is also into 2 because we have x into log x then minus 1.2 will be a negative value. Let's take 3. So 3 into log 3 minus 1.2 so now we are getting positive so let's write all the steps f of 2 is 2 log 2 base 10 minus 1.2 and this value is 2 into log 2 minus 1.2 after rounding off minus 0 0.6 it's a negative value. Now let's take f of 3 which is 3 log 3 base 10 minus 1.2 so it is 3 into log 3 minus 1.2 it is a positive value 0 0.23 so we found it changed sign from negative to positive. So we can say the root lies between 2 and 3. If I find the magnitude of f of 2, we find this is greater than the magnitude or modulus of f of 3. That is 0.6 is greater than 0.23. So from this we can understand the root is closer to 3. Now by Newton's Raphson's method the formula is x of n plus 1 is xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. Let's find f of, let's rewrite f of x which is x into log x base 10. Now we are going to use log rule and we have log a base b. It can be written as log a by log b and we can put a common base c. So we can rewrite this as log x by log 10 and we can put a common base e and at the end we have minus 1.2 and here we can take the value of log 10 base e that is we have 10 for that we need log. So we have to use this log and this log represents the base E. So 2.3025 and 8 when I round off it becomes 2.3026 or when I round off to 3 decimal places. Anyway that we can round off to 3 decimal places at the end. So here we are going to use the entire value so during our calculation itself. So let's keep this as it is. Now from this let's find its derivative f dash of x. So this constant is written as it is log 10 base e. In the numerator we have to use a product rule x into its derivative 1 by x and second term is written as it is x derivative is 1 and the last term becomes 0. After cancelling this we get 1 plus log x base e whole divided by log 10 base e. Now coming to the calculation part already we have written the root is closer to 3. So let's take x naught as 3 we have to find x1 by Newton Raphson's formula it is x0 minus f of 
x0 by f dash of x0. So x0 is 3, f of x0, we have to use f of x, which is here x log x base e by log 10 base e. So let's open a bracket 3 log 3 base e by log 10 base e minus 1.2. So this is only the numerator part f of x naught. Then coming to the denominator part it is 1 plus log x base e. So 1 plus log 3 base e divided by log 10 base e. Now coming to the calculation, we use calculator. Let us evaluate this numerator part that is 3 then we need log 3 base e. So we have to use this log. 3 into this log then we have to divide this value by log 10 base e. So 10 this log after division we get this we have to minus 1.2. So we got this numerator part and we have to divide by this denominator term. So let us divide and here we have numerator and denominator form. So let us open bracket. Numerator is 1 plus. So let us open one more bracket. 1 plus log 3. Close the bracket. In this divided by log 10. Then close the bracket. So we got this value and from 3 we have to subtract. So I do reverse. So I ignore the minus sign and take the positive value. 2.74614. So when I round up to 3 decimal places 2.746. 2.746. So in this way we have to calculate the other value x2. x2 by formula is x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. So this is 2.746 minus open bracket f of x1 is x into log x base e. So 2.746 log 2.746 base e minus 1.2 and this alone divided by log 10 base e then whole division 1 plus log 2.746 base e actually 1 plus then this division by log 10 base e Now once again we are going to take the calculator numerator part 2.746 into 2.746 log of that then divided by log 10 with base e this minus 1.2 then divided by double bracket open 1 plus then 2.746 log of that bracket close then divided by log 10 with base e bracket close. From this we have to subtract 2.746 2.746 So we get 2.7406. So when we round off, we take 
seven four one. When we round off, this last digit will change into one two point seven four one. So this value is x two. Now let's find x three using the same way. X three is x two minus f of x two divided by f dash of x two. And this will be 2.741 minus 2.741 log of 2.741 with base e divided by log of 10 with base e minus 1.2. Then whole division 1 plus log 2. 741 with base e let's check once again divided by log 10 with base e so once again using calculator we have to evaluate the the second part's numerator so 2.741 into 2.741 log of that value divided by log 10 then minus 1.2 then divided by double bracket open in denominator the numerator part is 1 plus 2.741 log of that bracket close divided by log 10 so 10 with log bracket close and this entire value minus 2.741 i have taken the reverse so ignore the minus sign take only the value 2.741 after rounding up to three decimal places 2.741 so this is x3 and we got x2 and x3 same 2.741 x2 is also 2.741 X3 is also same. So X2 equal to X3, which is equal to 2.741. So we can say the better approximate root is 2.741.